Finally, DJ just updated their Rekordbox 6 software to version 6.1.1 and with this new update came a brand new feature called Rekordbox Edit Mode. With Rekordbox Edit Mode, you will be able to edit your tracks within the Rekordbox DJ software. And in this video, I'm here to tell you all about this brand new update and how you can use it to make your own DJ edits within the Rekordbox software. Let's jump right into it. Hey what's good you guys my name is Deep and welcome to my YouTube channel this is where I do a lot of DJing and tech related tutorials tips and tricks to help you become a better DJ and to help you get better at using technology so if you're new here please consider subscribing Final DJ is doing a great job with their Rekordbox 6 DJ software and it is no longer just a DJ software which you can use to organize your tracks and perform with it. it you can actually also edit your own tracks within the software. All you need to do is update your DJ software to Rekordbox version 6.1.1 and that will unlock this brand new feature called edit mode. Along with this update came many other features and I will leave a link down in the description box for that. You can check out all of the things that were updated. But in this video, I'm going to tell you all about this edit mode which Rekordbox 6 just announced and I'm sure you are going to love this. Let's jump into the computer and see how this works. Now once you update your Rekordbox 6 software to version 6.1.1, you will be able to see that they have also included a free trial for a limited time i think it's a, a one month free trial with which you will be able to check out this new edit mode and the vocal position detection uh, within record box uh, you know this is basically a feature which is a part of the creative plan but they're giving it for free so every dj can actually use it and see if it is helpful for them so that's what i'm going to do when you open your record box all you need to do is where you see the export mode on the top left corner you click on that and you can see this new mode added and that is the edit mode and when you click on edit mode this window will open up okay for you it might look like this but this is basically uh, the edit mode all right now let me just quickly explain this new layout that they have with the edit mode this is where you can select the edit mode as i said and then this is how you can create your own new project this is how you can save the new project and this is how you can export or render the audio file that you have just created. Right below that you can see the new project. You can actually rename this and call it anything. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as new project. And then this button here will take the play position back to the beginning of the timeline. And then this is the play pause button. Next to it is the loop button. Whatever range you select will be looped with this. And then you have the quantize which is always on by the way and then you have the values of one of four. I like to leave it at auto because then I know exactly what I'm working with. If you're at four, you will not be able to edit in uh, one bar. So I think it's good to have it at auto mode. Next to that is the palette. This is where you can actually uh, hide this and, or bring it back in if you don't want to use it. But it's actually a great feature there. You need to have the palette so that you can drag and drop certain sections or the range of what you have just selected and you can have them here visible at all times. At the bottom you can see there is a beat select mode and with this you can actually select 1 beat, 2 beat, 4 beat, 8 beat, up to 128 beats the range just by the click of one button. And next to that uh, is the select or uh, basically uh, what select does is whatever you selected you can double that or you can uh, cut it to half and you can also cancel what you've just selected. So these are the two tabs here on the left and on the right you have the edit action pad. Now these this is what they call they call these two things the action pads. Okay. Now as you can see the action pad on the right is called edit because this is where all the work will happen. Whatever range you've selected you can clone it. You can copy it, paste it, insert it, delete it or clear it. Now when I say clear, it mutes that certain section. You can undo and redo. That's just the clean layout and to select what track you want here, you can click on this browser tab here at the bottom and that will be showing all of your tracks. Okay, now let me just drag and drop a track. Okay, and let me show you what all you can do with this software. Now, as soon as I drag and drop this track, Make sure that your tracks are pre-analyzed. Uh, it will only import tracks which are pre-analyzed by 
record box dj software so if there's a new track which is not yet added to the collection it will not be able to work with it so anything that is within record box you will be able to edit it now if you can see that i have just added the track and you can see that the bpm is 123 and you can see the time you can see the key in which this track is you can see the name here and this is where the album art is and it is also a button with which you can click and unload the track or just remove it now you will be able to see this enlarged waveform this is your work area this is where you'll be working with the track and you can press the play button here and you can play and you can zoom in and zoom out by pressing here or if you're using a mac you can just use your fingers to zoom in and zoom out on the touchpad and when you play i can also play with the spacebar and you can see that it starts playing now these two lines here on the top, right? This horizontal line and this horizontal line is actually how you can move ahead in track, okay? Now let's just play this track. Now for example, if I want to be in this part of the track, I can, I'll have to tap somewhere over here and I can move forward just to listen to the track. That's how you skim to the track. Okay, and you can obviously zoom in, zoom out. You can go back to the beginning of the track and all of that, okay? Now, let's just say that I want to select the first four beats of this track, that is one bar. So all I can do is tap and drag. And because it is on auto mode, it has uh, selected four beats. Alternatively, what you can do is you can use the beat select option, which is I think the easy way to do. You can tap on the four beat button and four beats will be selected. Eight beat, eight beats will be selected, 16 beats, 16 beats of four bars will be selected. 32 beats is eight bars and you can select that just by pressing on this button. Now, let's just say that this track has a short intro. For example, let's just say that this track has a short intro and I want to make this uh, intro longer. I can clone it. If I press this clone button here, the selected range, whatever you just selected, which is 32 beats will be doubled. Now your track becomes that much longer. Let me just undo that and show you. If you can see the time here is 4 minute 59 seconds. Now when I press this clone button, the exact section that you've selected, which is 32 beats, will be cloned right after. And the minute you press the clone button, now you can see the time is increased to 515, which also means that 32 beats are extended or cloned to the section. Now when I play this from here, And that's how it starts or continues to play rather okay now that's how you clone it now in case i want this section to be copied i can just click copy and if i want the same section to be you know placed at somewhere else in the track maybe somewhere in the ending for whatever reason i can just select where i want it and i can paste it now pasting you can either right click and then paste it or you can use the control v or command v and that section will be added to whichever section you want to add within the entire track okay another amazing feature is you can use the palette mode with palette mode if you have selected say 32 beats again for the sake of this example drag it and drop it into palette and that section will be added to your palette alternatively you can also right click and click on uh, add to palette and that will add that section okay and again once you've added, you can actually drag it and drop it wherever you like within the track. Now, the possibilities are endless. It's your creative mind and your creative edge and how you want to edit this particular track, okay? Now, as I said, there is a paste button here. If you don't want to use the command V, you can click on this paste button. You can also insert it. Now, when you insert it, now for example, when you're at the beginning of the track, now my computer is, uh, not a very fast computer and that's why it's taking time to load but make sure you always play and pause when you're working around because the waveform keeps updating with the edits that you make now let's just say that i want to add this section to my track i can actually insert it here now if i don't want to you know overwrite this section i can insert it somewhere over here and I can do that by selecting where I want to uh, insert it by, you know, by video mouse. You can just tap wherever if you can see. Yeah. Tap here wherever you want to insert it. Select it. It's the one. It's the perfect one. And then you can tap on insert and that will add that section 
exactly where you wanted it to be okay and that's how you insert you can also delete that section if you don't like it by pressing this button and now for whatever reason if you don't like a certain section within the track you can actually select it and hit clear and that will mute that certain section now let me just play this track everything is muted for that and because the loop is on it's looping within that region you can unloop and now it will continue to play now let me just show you another example i'm going to choose another track i'm going to go to browser i'm going to add this track which is a commercial track work by rihana save changes no i don't want to save it now let's listen to the beginning of the track and see how this starts And then the track begins all right now as you can see this has a very short intro of just 16 beats a good intro is at least a 32 beat intro okay now because this is not a 32 beat intro a lot of DJs will have a difficult time mixing in professional DJs will use different techniques with hot cues but if you're a beginner DJ you can actually just copy this okay and add it or insert it at the beginning okay and then as you can see that entire section is doubled. Now when you play it from the beginning, and that's how you can extend your tracks and you can make your intros longer and that is that is the beauty of this uh, new update and that is the beauty of this new feature called the edit mode it is free right now but i think they're going to add this into their creative plan which is a part of their subscription uh, you know that is the only thing which is um, not an amazing thing about the record box 6 update and everything is now they want you to subscribe to a certain plan to use all of these features including the vocal mode and that is the only reason why maybe i will not use the record box uh, 6 for editing my tracks because i already use ableton for it and i also use something called a serato studio which i actually made a video about you can actually check that out and that is an amazing software which does the similar thing but in a lot easier and better way to be very honest because it has multiple layers and if you ask me the things that i miss within this software one is the palette section i wish that palette section whatever track for example if i've selected this range i have added it to the palette by dragging and dropping now if i want this intro in another track i know that this is d flat minor okay i know the key is d flat minor and i want to add this section to another track if I add another track, this section uh, cannot be updated. Now, the minute I add another track, the palette section is removed. It's cleared and it is making its space for the new track. That is a bummer. I wish with this palette section, you can add multiple, uh, you know, loops from different songs and then you can make your own DJ edit. I hope they add this to their next um, update. And another thing that I really don't like or I would rather uh, appreciate if they add in their next update is the ability to select half a beat this certain section is one beat now i want to select just half the beat let's just say that there is the f word or the b word somewhere over here if i try to remove that the entire uh, certain section will be removed okay let me just import a track and show it to you okay let me just import this track and i'm going to show you what i mean this track starts like this See, I don't want to get demonetized and for some reason if I don't want to add that particular section into my track I need the ability to be able to remove that and I can't do that if I cannot select that certain section see see now this section if I remove this entire thing or mute it this is how it will sound I don't think that is a very good idea but if I had the option to just you know 
select half of it which I cannot do then it would sound something like this I'm just going to use my mute button to show you how it would be you see if I could select that certain region and mute it or if I can select that certain region and duplicate it maybe I will be able to get rid of certain things like the F word or in some instances the DJ tag if I have to well those are the only two things which I would expect that Rekordbox 6 adds in their next update yeah another thing is the ability to add certain layers now I can work at one track at a time with this uh, edit mode okay and that is what I think is what intended by Rekordbox 6 with the edit mode but imagine if I have another layer I can add another track, a vocal sample from another track and I can layer both of them and then render it. That would be amazing, isn't it? No, but you can't really do that in this software and you can do that in Serato Studio. That is why I think I'll probably continue using Serato Studio or Ableton. Now, let's just say that you're done with this. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to uh, insert it here to make it 60, to make it 32 beats. Okay, now I'm done with the editing. I want to export it and this is how you do that. You press on this, you click on this tab here and then you save it as single ladies extended db edit and then I can choose the location. Right now they have actually added a new folder called edited tracks within the Pano DJ library you can actually change that and put it wherever you like but i think it's better you leave it there because you'll know that this is something that you have edited you have two file formats wav and m4a m4a is supported by all panel dj equipment but let's just leave it at wave because that is going to make sure that that track is compatible with any multimedia player and leave the sample rate to what it is let's not select that and then you have the option to check show track in collection after render now this is also a good thing as soon as you complete uh, the render process the track will be added to your collection let's try this now you click on render it's rendering it will take its own sweet time but when it's done it should be added to the collection and you will be able to play it just the way you have edited it and all this within the record box 6 dj software and that is what is the edit mode now as you can see this new update is amazing and this new feature is very helpful for DJs who are not very technically sound with using different DAWs and the ability to able to do this within a DJ software is actually amazing Serato DJ uh, with their Serato studio update did this first and now Rekordbox has actually added this to Rekordbox 6 which is an amazing thing now a lot of you DJs will have the opportunity to edit your own DJ edits. Any DJ who is interested to add a little bit of a flavor to their DJ set can use this and they can create their own DJ edits within the Rekordbox DJ software. As I said in the beginning, this requires you to have their creative plan but right now it's free. Please go ahead and update it. Go ahead and create your own DJ edits. You have one month to create as many DJ edits you want and render them and add them to your library. After that, it's no longer going to be free. You will have to pay for their subscription to use this feature. But as I said, there is alternative software available to do that. But if it is able to do this within the DJ software, that itself is a great deal. And I actually like it and appreciate what Planet DJ is doing with Rekordbox 6. So that's it guys. Now I'm interested to know what you guys think about this new update and this new feature. Comment in the comment section below and tell me, will you actually go ahead and try your hands on this? Will you actually go ahead and upgrade yourself to their subscription plan if you want to continue using this? I'm interested to know your thoughts. And if you have any more doubts, if you are not able to understand a certain thing, let me know down in the comments below and I will get back to you and I will clear your doubts in the comment section itself. You can also ask me your questions on Instagram. You can follow me there. My Instagram handle is DJD Bhamra and I will reply with your doubts and I will make sure that all your doubts are cleared there as well. Well, that's about it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you guys got to learn something new today. If you guys did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. That's been it. My name is Deep and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy to help.